person in recovery, and I, I got to give a lot of thanks to CBD for helping uh, take the edge off life, you know. And, but um, I don't know. I think we wouldn't necessarily have like these, uh, you know, drug epidemic if they actually had to have commercials for the hard drugs, you know. <laughs> Like, are you tired of paying your bills on time? <laughs> Friends and family trust you too much. <laughs> well, in just 12 months, you can lose your girlfriend, your kid, and your teeth. <laughs> but wait, there's less. Act now when you throw in the towel, we'll throw you into rehab. <laughs> Syringes sold separately. Uh, 2001's been a pretty eventful year for me. I don't know about you guys. Uh, like, this is the year that I finally started meditating. And not only that, this is the year that I finally gave up meditating. <laughs> wow. Namaste distracted, I guess. <laughs> I, I found it ironic. I gave up the one activity that literally requires you to do nothing. That's, that's lazy, I guess. That's <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's so much lazy or anybody else diagnosed ADDAF. Yeah? <laughs> the ADDAFers. Uh, I just can't wait for driverless cars. That's, I don't know how else they expect people like me to safely get from point A to point B while guzzling coffee, vaping, and texting. At the very least, how about some text-only lanes? Wouldn't that be nice? They can put out the little rubber bumpers like in the bowling alley. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for that. Um, so yeah, I mentioned uh, I'm in recovery. Before I got sober, dating was pretty hard, but now y'all, seven years, five months, clean and sober, dating is. Dating is impossible. Uh, thank you, though, for your pity. No. Uh, see, the problem is, it's my fault, really. I don't know any pickup lines besides, do you want to get high? <laughs> seven years, five months, can't come up with anything better than that. So. Of course, people are like, yes. <laughs> I know that's not how all women talk. I, I, I'm just bad at accents. I was trying acting, they said, okay, try a German accent. I'm like, I'm doing it! What? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, and then I gotta be like, well, I can't. Uh, uh, but uh, let's have a couple Shirley Temples back at my place. It's parked right over there. <laughs> yeah. If you are single, I drive a Mercedes and the house is paid for, so don't laugh too hard. <laughs> Uh, I turned 40 recently, I feel pretty good about myself, just not sure, uh, you know, how well I'm communicating between the brain and how, the mirror, uh, you know, I, I still think I look 25. <laughs> I was at my birthday, I went up and was chatting this lady up at the bar, and uh, I go and ask for a number, she cut me off halfway through, she's like, I'm sorry, but I already have given someone my change. <laughs> Excuse me. Like, yeah, I realized I'm a five o'clock shadow in a bag away from homeless. I, man, uh, but I did meet someone recently. I've been getting into yoga, and uh, yeah, I um, I like the meditation part of yoga, I guess. You know, so spiritually I'm ripped. But uh, <laughs> uh, I now officially an unemployed yoga teacher. Uh, I'm gonna stay broke. Um, but I met this girl at the park. She had a Fitbit, and I was trying to do some yoga. And she was like, yeah, I did 30,000 steps today. I said, like, God damn. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I went to the gym five times this past week, I told her. I didn't tell her it was to use the shower. But uh, yeah, you know, people aren't always what they seem when you meet them, right? You know? But uh, and then she's like, yeah, and I swam three swimming pools and I climbed five fences. And then I said, that's not a Fitbit, is it? <laughs> that's an ankle monitor. I, uh, she was on the run. <laughs> Uh, I was like, maybe we just took 12 steps. I don't know. You wouldn't need that thing. <laughs> anyway, I need to stop trying to date at AA meetings. It seems like a logical place for anonymous sex. I don't know. That's just, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so if anybody's interested, we'll do some hot yoga in my van after the show. <laughs> um, I'm not saying I did a lot of cocaine, y'all, but I did turn down a free trip at Disney World once because of their policy, no cutting lines. <laughs> you never been too certain. I think the only time I just said no was when I misunderstood the question. <laughs> I had 12 years clean, but then I turned 13. Uh, but, but now I'm addicted to comedy. I'm addicted to comedy, and I think that's, that's pretty fun. I love comedy. It's great. We're having a good time, and the come down is so much better. Y'all won't walk, find me walking the streets at 6 a.m. looking for an open mic. <laughs> Who's got that good mic? <laughs> looking for a dude named Mike? <laughs> you just put it in my hand. <laughs> Um, 
Well, you know, be sure to check out my TED Talk, How to Get Out of the Bar and Into Your Car. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave you with an inspirational quote from the Dalai Lama. Once said, the wind gives trees stronger roots. Wait, that was Dolly Parton. But she makes a good point. She makes a couple good points. Uh, anyway, my name is Dick Satori. You can follow me at Dick Jokes on Instagram. Are you guys ready for your headliner? Take your hands out of your pockets. You might crush something. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him on Netflix. You've seen him on Comedy Central. Come on, give it up for him for forming you up tonight.